everyone, I'm Chef James. Thank you for being with us. And today we're gonna have an amazing and joyful time. We're gonna talk about something that is a passion of mine and probably for you as well, food and wine pairing. I'm gonna show you from A through Z how you can pair food with wine the perfect way. Aside from that, wine and food is meant to be shared with those loved ones, family and friends. And talking about family, I wanna to talk to you about a family owned business. Rumbauer Vineyards, making great wines for over 40 years, and those are the great wines I'll be pairing today with the food. So if you're ready, let's go. So when it comes to Sauvignon Blanc, I think one of the words that best describes Sauvignon Blanc is freshness. It's very fresh, very crisp, light, and very easy to drink, especially on a hot day. When it comes to the actual aromas that we recognize when we pour. We're gonna find some tropicality in there, some passion fruit, some nectarines, peaches, very easy to drink. If you wanna entertain, you have people coming at home, everybody loves a great Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. So delicious, so fresh, very balanced acidity. How about we start with the pairing? Fortunately, many years ago, a beautiful book was written, it's called The Joy of Cooking, by a member of the Ron Bauer family. And of course, I wanted to take some of those classic dishes, give them a little bit of a twist, and pair them with the Ron Bauer wines. So that's why I like to go with a beautiful ceviche. Ceviche is usually a plate that's typical from Peru and has you know, a base of lemon and uh, of course a lot of those cilantro notes, a tiny bit of spice most of the times that perfectly complements the wine because we continue the note of acidity but obviously we bring it down a note when we put a spoon full of that ceviche in our mouth and then we sip the wine. Perfect. That's gonna take me to my next dish and we're gonna go for this amazing halibut filet. I've cooked it, pan seared it heavily to get that beautiful caramelization on the top. And then I wanted to finish it off with some butter and herbs, which I think is just the perfect way to finish a fish. I have some of that butter with garlic and herbs that I'm just gonna pour on top like that. Look how beautiful that looks. Sometimes, we try to overcomplicate ourselves when it comes to cooking and recipes and all that, but in simplicity, we find some of the most amazing dishes. When it comes to a buttery sauce, I like to pair it with a Chardonnay because it's a wine that's also buttery, rich, and it gives you that oaky finish that's just fantastic and phenomenal. So I'm gonna pour that, give it a nice swirl, Mm. Just incredible. I love it. Simple, perfect pairing. And when it, when it comes to pairing, I think that wine just elevates the whole experience of just a plate of food. You're complementing with something that will take your food to the next level. Talking about next level, you know that one of my biggest passions has to be grilling, barbecuing, and you see it all over my social media when it comes to the weekend. And I wanted to go with an interpretation of a country that I had the opportunity to visit for quite some time and work there, and that was Argentina. Argentina is known for their steaks and their barbecues and their sauces. That's why I've made a chimichurri. What's a chimichurri? Chimichurri is basically this sauce made out of a little bit of garlic and herbs, always fresh, olive oil, a tiny touch of vinegar to cut through the richness of the steak. Today I've picked a New York strip that I think will go perfectly well with this Zinfandel. Zinfandel is gonna give me those notes of spice, uh, dark cherry, red fruit. It's just perfect and phenomenal to pair with beef. One thing I love about this wines is how aromatic they are and how again they complement and connect really well with the dish. So I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. I think 
Zinfandel has to be the perfect pairing for a steak with chimichurri. Simply grilled. If you don't have a grill at home, no problem. You can heavily sear it with butter and you can have the same results. And then finish it off with this delicious sauce that's, you know, going to complement in a way with all the herbs, the fattiness of the steak. Some of the acidity in there is gonna cut through that richness. And I like to just serve it like that. So you can try to grab a little bit of that chimichurri with every bite. And honestly, food and wine are never enjoyed the same and are never as joyful as they are when you have people around, when you have friends and family. And that's why I've invited some people that I wanna share this with. You should follow me. And I'm gonna take my wine with me as well. Ladies. Mira que ah, bien. Of course, I wasn't just gonna cook for myself. I had to cook for you guys yeah, so you guys could be a part of it. And vino. Of course, vino? of course vino. I brought my vino, I served you vino. Woo! So yes. please make sure you enjoy the pairing, enjoy ah, yeah, yourselves. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the kitchen. James, yes. Yes. this looks amazing. Amaz I will it promise you it'll it. taste as good as it looks. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> he never disappoints. No, he doesn't. Reagan, thank you so much for being here and for sharing your family's wine with us. Thank you for having me. I hope you don't mind, but I invite a couple of friends along because it's boring to drink alone. You can't drink alone. <laughs> you know Hemingway, and I love Hemingway. <laughs> he once said, wine and friends is the best blend. Yeah. So That's there you go. <laughs> and we're all about that. We love sharing food and wine with friends, and that's what it's all about, so I'm glad you guys joined us today. So Reagan, tell us about Ron Bauer and how your family actually got into the wine business. Thanks so much for asking about that. It's a, a pretty special story to us. After high school, my grandfather joined the military as a pilot, and then he flew for a brand of airways as a commercial airline pilot. Okay. Actually, off a tip from one of his passengers, he moved his family to the Napa Valley for no other reason than a wonderful place to live. Absolutely. He started to learn about the wine business from local vintners, and my grandmother went to work to help them achieve their dream of having their own winery. In 1980, their American dream came true when they started Rumbauer Vineyards. 40 years later, our tight-knit family and our wonderful team has brought us from our humble beginnings to one of the top recognized fine wine brands in America. Yeah. And I'm sorry, but Delicious. I'm sorry. Fabulous. Uh, Karen, what do you want? The have? smell is absolutely amazing. Mm. I have a Zinfandel, Zinfandel right? Yes. Yes. Beautiful red fruit, nice spice. It's enjoyable on its own but a big, bold wine like that can stand up to delicious, bold dishes. Oh, like maybe this, a medium rare steak? Uh, filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> She's my girl. <laughs> or some of Chef Shane's chimichurri there as I well. know, I'm gonna Ooh. have to taste this because you know what? I really believe in his talent. Yes, well I think he gave me ceviche, so let me yes. give it a whirl mm. as well. And that's and gonna I'm... be beautiful with the sauvignon oh, blanc. It's so light. Light, refreshing, yes. great oh, with wow. salads, light dishes like you have, or just on a hot day on the patio. Mm. That's my go-to. I can hear cool. wow. Chimichurri Divino. and Zinfandel wine. Delicioso. Wow. Delicioso, my goodness. And you have the halibut with the Chardonnay, and the Chardonnay is just rich and delicious. We really call it California sunshine in the bottle. It's our most popular wine and fun fact, it's actually the number one Chardonnay in American restaurants. Oh, wow. So how many different wines do you guys actually carry in the vineyard? So we make the, the three wines that we're enjoying here today mm -hmm. and then a beautiful Merlot and a Cabernet as well. That's amazing. There's so many wines. If you walk into a liquor store or wine store, you have oh. thousands and thousands of selection Can everywhere. You, imagine? you get dizzy. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So what sets Ron Bauer apart from all the Great other question. winners? Yeah. It can definitely be intimidating walking in and you don't know where to start right. and you don't know what you should drink. And just like making wines, part of my family tradition, there's many families out there that sharing Rumbauer wines is part of their family tradition. They've passed that on for generations and we become a wine that's really special to them and they share in their celebrations. I think really because they trust in our consistency and the value of our wines and they really know that bringing a bottle of Rumbauer wine is gonna create a joyful moment it's at It's always any. a great time. Yes, yes, exactly. Time. And Latinos, Even with we love family that. members yes. that it's hard to make them smile. Yes, yes. 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 y
Cream and you're set. And yes. it won't give you a headache because there's nothing like having a bad glass of wine and you get a headache. Oh, yes. This is a good one. Yes. 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 And I don't know about you guys, but women, I mean, I think we are looking better than ever. And like I wine, think so too. we are aging fabulously <laughs> with time. And that is like because of your wines. <laughs> That's right. And much like we have some wonderful women here today, women in leadership is really important in our company. I did, I did read about that, and I am so proud. That's and right. that is what we at Be Latina are all about: empowering the Latina woman or empowering yep. any woman from any society, from any walk of life. So, cheers, cheers to Ron Barrow Wines. Thank you. Definitivamente. Yes. Cheers. Well, I think what we should do is just like everybody is always invited to come out to the winery and have one of our wonderful tastings. When are we going? I'm there. We need to get I'm you there. guys out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I promise you, I'll be I, there soon. I'm available yes. tomorrow. Yes, yes. I can we'll pack the tonight. tickets. I'll meet you in wine country. We'll have a great time. I look yes. forward to it. We look to forward it. to it. <laughs> Absolutely. So that definitely deserves a chance. Yes, thank, thank you so much for coming. Cheers. I look forward Cheers. to tasting every single wine. Totalmente. I will yes. sacrifice myself. I'm right behind you, girlfriend. Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to all of you. To learn more about these beautiful wines from Rombauer Vineyards, visit rombauer.com, where you can sign up to receive updates from the winery, schedule a tasting for your next trip to California wine country, or find the wines near you. You can also scan the QR code on your screen to get a full breakdown of this food and wine pairing at bilatina.com. And by the way, you need to stick around because coming after the break, we're gonna get back in the kitchen, make some Peruvian dishes, and guess what? I'm gonna have right here, right now, Latin superstar and percussionist, Tony Zucca to make some noise, so you better stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> 